launch it this year, which is where you get to see companies kind of compete to win as the best new startup. I think it would be a way to say it. And uh, the winners of that competition were uh, Velco, and Johnny Smith is here to tell us about it. What is Velco? What is the company? What is your product? So Velco, we create solutions for smarter and more personalized mobility. The first market we're targeting is the cycling market because it's huge. And we created the first connected handlebar that you can control through your smartphone. Wait a minute, connected handlebar for my bicycle? For bicycles. So this is, it's called a wing bar. Uh, it has three main features. The first one is a navigation system. So you enter your destination on your phone, you put it in your pocket or in your bag, and you have two block lights here telling you where to turn. Oh, so it's going to blink on the right and left side. He's got these these uh, LEDs that are going to blink to tell me I've got to turn left or right. Exactly. What's awesome about it is that navigation system with light codes, it's universal. Anybody can understand it. And it's directly in your vision when you're riding your bike. Right, 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 right. So that solves the problem of pulling your phone out and playing around and getting hit by a car. That's 20% of bicycle accidents. I'm probably accidents. the one who had hit the car, <laughs> but in my case. Yeah, 20% of bicycle accidents are due to someone watching at his phone while he's riding. I would bet, I would bet. Or her. Or her, of course. Okay, so that's problem number one. What is problem number two? So problem number two is bike theft. So if someone is trying to steal your bike, you receive a notification on your phone, you have the alarm turning on, and then you can track live your bike so you can retrieve it anywhere in the world. So you've got the GPS that'll tell you where it is, but what is it about the smartphone technology that tells me that my bike is being stolen? How, what causes it to trigger that? Well, the technology integrated in there is GPS, GSM, Bluetooth, RFID. We even have accelerometers to detect an accident and send a geolocation point for your relative. So the, the accident thing, that would be really big for me because I have a scar right here and right here and right here when I fell on my bike. But um, it, the accelerometer is what would tell you somebody's moving your bike when you haven't authorized it? Exactly. Okay, okay. So that's, uh, is that problem three already or is no, that, that still two? No, that was problem two. Oh, okay. Pro what's problem three? Problem three is being seen in the city. And that's why we've integrated smart headlights that turn on and off automatically depending on the light outside. Oh, that's fantastic, because I'm always telling people, hey, your headlights are off at dusk. So that, that's really cool. What about from behind? How do they see you from behind? So from behind, that's why we've integrated the technology of a smartphone, is because behind that we want to integrate other accessories that will connect to the handlebar. And that's why we're selling it to bike manufacturers to make it a standard. Okay, that's, that's a good idea, because you don't actually need the smarts also at the back of the bike. But to be able to talk to the back of the bike would make sense. So I would think this would be really good for people who rent out bikes. I know in Europe that's a thing, right? That's a, a huge thing, and that's why we have a solution for that. We sell handlebars to, for example, private bike renters. You select a tour, you try to visit Paris, for example, in two hours. Then the handlebar is guiding you through the city. When the handlebar is telling you to stop, you stop. And on the app, automatically you have the description of the point of interest. Look, there's the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, the Eiffel Tower. And that could be a video, a photo, a text. And yeah, you have the history, you, you know why. And so that's really creating a touristic experience. That sounds fantastic. So in general, so this is mostly uh, you, your business is to sell to manufacturers and to tour companies, not direct to consumer, correct? No, we sell to bike manufacturers, to wholesalers. So you can buy your handlebar, your handlebar in a bike shop or in a tech shop. Oh, okay. So that's still pretty cool. So what is the name of the, the handlebars themselves? Wink Bar. Wink Bar. And what's your price point on that? $279. Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, because more and more you have e-bikes, for example. And this, it's true that the cost is getting high, higher and higher. And what you can even do is plug your handlebar to your e-bike so it's free of charging. Oh, that's nice. I'm like, oh yeah, charging. How do you charge it otherwise? So otherwise you have a key, you can take the battery off from here, charge it at home, put it in back, and that's good for three weeks. Oh, that's fantastic. And is this on the market yet or soon? Is, in, uh, is it in France? Where is it? So this product will be launched on the market in two months. Two months, two months in Europe. And then we're coming to the US at the end of the year. 
All right, fantastic. So if people want to learn more about the Velco Blink Bar, Blink Bar, is that Wink right? Bar. Shoot, Wink Bar. He told me four <laughs> times, Wink Bar. Uh, well, how would people find more out of, about more about it? Yeah, they can go on our website, www.velco.bike. And they will have all the information needed. Velco.bike. I didn't even know that was a top-level domain. That's awesome. Yeah, it is. All right. Thank you very much, Johnny. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your time.